Benji. Yep. I said I'd taken a helicopter ride in Vegas. <laughs> Is this counts. close enough? Yeah, this counts. I mean, you, this counts. You can see Vegas from out the window. I'm not sure if we're meant to be in here, but we are. So when you need the most amount of America in your morning, you come to Battlefield Las Vegas. Basically, it's a gun range where you can shoot fully automatic weapons. Uh, and they also have a whole bunch of tanks and military aircraft here to give you that full, I guess, full military experience. You can even crush a car with a tank here, which is pretty wild. Um, basically, in America, you can't buy fully automatic weapons except for specially licensed ones that are for experiences like this, i.e. gun ranges. Uh, not every state lets you do it. Obviously, Nevada, you can pretty much do anything, so it's one of the only places you can pay to shoot fully automatic weapons. It's pretty cool. Are you ready for some proper miracle? Real life. All right, we're about to get some real life America. This is Hans Military Surplus. This isn't some strip one with souvenirs. This is a proper army surplus store, but it's got heaps of cool memorabilia. It's actually pretty awesome. Check it out. Check the box. After our Airbnb got cancelled, we are now on our fourth different piece of accommodation in seven days. It's our last night in Vegas. We're at the Rio tonight. All that was left. Um, what do you do? Could be good. Might not be. We've stayed at some dodgy places, some good places, some average places. We've done some cool stuff. You never know what's going to happen in Vegas. Uh, what do we got? This is the room at the Rio Strip View. Too bad, there's a little something something going on here. All right, all right. That is really cool. Look this guy, we were going fast, check this guy out. <coughs> Dang. We're doing 80. Yeah, he just wings around. Yeah. I'd give you my uh, memoirs of our great nights and Great moments. I can't be bothered. Sunday morning. Yeah. <laughs> You're watching the vlog. You've already seen some. Oh no, I haven't seen all of it, have you? I've seen a little bit of it. You've seen, you've seen a little taste. Of, the vlog is like this much of what we've done. This much. You're not exactly going to vlog going out partying, are you? No. If you do, you're a bit weird. You know those vlogger dudes on yeah. YouTube channels, and they just vlog what they eat and stuff. Yeah, no, we're not that. Go away. Pink dog, are you excited? Very excited. How excited? Very excited. All right, we are seven minutes away from what used to be the Staples Center. Now it's called Crypto Arena or something. Uh, we're going to a Lakers game versus the Cavs. Managed to secure pretty decent seats for the price. Uh, usually it's like still a hundred bucks to be in, in the, you know, the rafters, but uh, we managed to get something down closer to the court for a reasonable price, so I'm pretty happy. I've never had a good seat there, so we'll enjoy this. I'm coming into downtown now. So uh, yeah, we're not far. Let's do this.
like his experience? What do you think? Even though they lost, it was nice. I'm, I'm never going to get seats that good ever again. I don't know how I got them as cheap as I did. They were still expensive in Australian dollars, but in American dollars, like we got these seats for at least we uh, two. All right, next stop is Venice Beach. I love coming here every time we come to America, just to hang out, check it out. Uh, stay at a hotel here, so we can go check out everything nearby, Santa Monica, uh, we can go up to Malibu, get to Hollywood easy, Beverly Hills, whatever, uh, before we have our GTR cruise tomorrow night, and then Hoonigan on Tuesday. Let's go. What time is it, Venice Beach? Hammer time. Hey! Y'all pass the vibe check. All right, second day in Los Angeles. It's day 10, 9, I don't know. I don't know. But it's raining. Never rains in LA. And what it does, it makes them lose their mind here because they drive in rain like once a year. So expect some carnage today. Of course, it's, it's while we're here that they get it. Yeah, the, the one time they get rain is when we're here and we yeah. wanted to drive to Malibu or whatever. And uh, we're going to go to Hoonigan tomorrow. It's meant to rain even worse. Yeah. And we've got a car cruise tonight. So guess what? Weather hasn't just killed my life in Australia. Now it's killing my life here too. But let's go to Peterson Museum. Check that out. It looks like the Peterson Museum theme for this trip is hypercars. Because uh, the foyer, well, some would say carbon. It's got a little bit. What have you found, Inchi? Uh, probably the most expensive battery charger on the planet. So here's a fun fact. That isn't the exhaust. That is the exhaust. Alright, we've seen electric cars, old timey cars, uh, crappy weird American concept cars, hot rods. Now we finally get to see something that I really want to see. Let's go. and you shoot guns and it's actually another Australian teaching you how to do it. <laughs> so the biggest mistake people make is they think in the movie that you shoot that, like that, yeah. that. Nah, it's actually like legs apart and like... Yeah. That's what they teach you. The only time you ever shoot gang is if you try to take... If you're shooting straight on, you shoot dead straight on. So... You don't need to jam the shit out of it, just like that, and then don't let that catch your finger. That's it. There you go. Yeah, yeah good work, Instock. And then we get these. 
Some bad boys out, you ready? Oh, wow. A little oh. bit bigger. Uh, yes. They are a little, little bit bigger. bigger. Holy. Go ahead, Hinchy. Four, four. I'll leave you four, too. Dog. That was insane. That was awesome. It's pretty cool, huh? Oh, yeah, it's pretty a cool. very different experience shooting here than shooting at a gun range in Vegas because those experiences, they basically hand you the gun, you go and it's done. And that's it. They yeah, take it off yeah. you. But here you get to load, you can you know, play around. They pretty a much bit. give it to you and like trust you that to be safe and smart with it. Yeah, so. here we're basically shooting as if we're gun owners. Yeah, which, which is, is awesome. For those who don't understand, why is Randy's Donuts important? Because Iron Man sat right there. Right there. And what else? Uh, like Ken Block went around here. Twice. Twice. <laughs> that's, that's enough. Every other reason doesn't matter. Yeah. That's enough. That's is all there, we is need. Is there any other reasons? No. Just SEMA in general is, is mind blowing and every second of it is epic. And I mean, a lot of my highlights do revolve around Hoonigan and the Burnyard and like the parties that we had. And the shooting range today was epic. and. Like, I can't even reel off the highlights because there was just so many, it was epic. Oh, I don't even know where to go with this. Um, for me, for me, the highlight was just, well, all of it. But yeah, it was a sick trip, sick trip, with too many cool things that happened. Just about every day, everything we did was awesome. That's pretty much the best way to sum it up, because you know what? This Modi video.